Alright then, this is Fantastic World, so we back to Lovecraft Country and the Secret World Legends. Now, we have just been recruited by Illuminati, but we have to find them as our first mission, so let's begin. By meeting our first individual, introduce us to the mystery of the world. I don't know what that was, and I'm not sure I want to know. Let's meet Doug. Or Dave, sorry. Nah, nah, nah. Too much visibility on the street. They're listening. They're always listening. That's why I keep the dryers running 24-7. They bug my phones, read my mail. They have this place on CCTV. Replace my girlfriend with an android. The Illuminati. I know you know. And they know I know. You know? <laughs> oh, you're wondering why they haven't disappeared me. Shut down my magazine? It's because I play smart. I play along. It's a game to them, you know? It's all just a game. Oh, hi, hi, hi Leah. Don't worry. She's, she's, she's not one of them. She's in my D&D group. Role-playing is the only avenue to resist control. We do nothing, nothing, they don't tell us to. They've been conditioning us in, 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 in every kind of media for years, okay? Example, Pac-Man. That's how they see you. Just, 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 just a little head, just a mind share. And you run through the mazes, the mazes they built, sucking down their pills, the fruit, the forbidden wisdom of Eden, never enough. And you can't shake the fucking ghosts, right? I mean, they're watching you. Their eyes are always watching you. Even beyond death. This all adds up. That's where you'll find the Illuminati. At the dark center. In the ghost house. In the labyrinth. It's right here. Just, just follow the yellow dot road. <laughs> that's all I can say. I think that's more than enough to say. All right, yes, to let you know, even in 2013, there was Fox News and there was conspiracy theories. Oh, heck. Let's see what else he might have to share with us. Look, who I am isn't important. What is important, what is vitally important, is raising awareness of the truth. You can quote me on that. David O. Screed, editor-in-chief, a weird non-fiction magazine. Maybe you read us. Or maybe they stopped you. No, I think the twenty. Yeah, yeah. No, I think the twenty issues you mentioned, maybe a graph in the back there, are probably going to the people who actually read them. For a warehouse district, the dead neighborhood, this place sure gets a lot of traffic, don't you think? Not hipsters looking for rehearsal space. This is where the deeply incognito go to be found. The yeah. underground scene here, it's real deep underground. You know what I mean? Probably. But, of course, it's also the sort of neighborhood nobody reminds if you're carrying a sword. First Manhattan, then all of New York. The Illuminati took this city like a fucking virus. They kept on hammering until we let them in. Like those little porn pop-up windows that won't quit. <laughs> Corruption as deep and wide as those quote-unquote closed subway tunnels under Atlantic Avenue. Yeah. Down and found it back there. No, yes, apparently the Illuminati are behind the uh, New York real estate market, which, frankly, isn't that surprising. You want to talk about dark days? Listen, we are in the long shadow of 2012. It's hanging over us like, uh, like the fucking Death Star, okay? I mean, I'm not saying it's the end. The Mayans were crazy mothers, but they weren't stupid. 2012 is the beginning of the end, a signal point, when all the lines start to come together. Which is why they set it in this time period, as opposed to the present day. Not here. Not here, right? There's only so much I can tell you. Living in their backyard, it pays not to lay a turd on the doorstep, you get me? And with that charming image, let's uh, bid you farewell, shall we? Now, the next part of our mission is to find evidence of surveillance. For a secret organization, the Illuminati are kind of getting sloppy. And then I got another one. And we're following the trail of that particular marker. 
Now, here's something you're going to find all throughout the game, so let me take a moment to explain it to you. See those golden rectangle... Excuse me. Those golden rectangles up there? These are what's called legends, or lore. Essentially, information given to us through the... Excuse me. I'm guessing that woman had way too much of a buzz going on. Anyways, where it's a bit quieter. Yes, these are information nuggets given to us by the buzzing, the hive mind of the guy in consciousness. And what's interesting is that when the bee entered us, it connected us to Gaia, but we seem to have lost the ability to communicate like a human being. Now here I'm going to demonstrate what they're like. Alright, so I was pointing out, we don't talk. I'm not sure how people understand us, but we don't talk. There we go. And there you are. These are legends. Essentially, you'll notice there's these massive amounts of information which are locked to us. And then we just unlocked one for the Illuminati. Now, this is information coming from Gaia's consciousness directly to us, and we're the only ones who can actually access it. These Chosen of Gaia, as it were. Here it says, And yet you little termites war with each other over your little termite mounds, and somewhere in the outer dark, hungry mouths made of event horizons salivate and grin. In other words, it's telling us why humankind has been pissing away at uh, little match, little uh, power struggles. They've been waiting, waiting for their opportunity, and today is their opportunity. And again... Now, this is a description of Lily Engel, and I'm not going to go into it right now, because it's not going to become important for a while. We'll get back to it. Yes, the Illuminati markings. You know, if you wanted to actually try to make your secret society more obvious as possible. But yes, here we are into the totally realistic sewers of Manhattan. Following those symbols. Do 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 do. Yeah, you may get from the information we just got that guy is not terribly happy with the human race letting things get this bad. Anything in here? Oh, okay. And now that things are... Now, essentially, things are so desperate that she's mass-empowering individuals and hoping it works. Cue the ritual chant. This is the Illuminati again. Conventional warfare is obsolete. Cue the paradigm war. The Illuminati strive to ascend as the pantheon of zeitgeists. And this is pre-Twitter, Okay. Information warfare has been going on for a very long time. Probably ever since we started writing words. Or speaking them, for that matter. And now let's find... Let's be introduced to our new bosses. I'm sure they won't mind us just barging in without an appointment. You know the drill. Run them through due diligence. I'm on it. Please, no head trouble. Someone pinned Cassini to shut that fucking alarm off. Say, have you ever seen a person void themselves from exposure to pink noise? Get these two freaks out of here. <laughs> Hi. Have you ever seen a psychiatrist or taken psychedelic drugs? Whoa, 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 don't freak out. You got a lot of narcosynthetics in your system to fast track the rapport process. So make yourself comfortable before you lose motor function in your arms and legs. Is it safe? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm a researcher, an experimental researcher. Zern, my schedule is triple booked, so get started 10 minutes ago. Uh, yes, ma'am, Miss Geary. Management. <laughs> Still here. Shit. Knew that. <laughs> wow. Illuminati. Always there. Okay. Today, we're going to be provoking your extra human potential. 
Routine tests, psychic driving, invasive procedures, auto-suggestion, and this is all gonna happen while you're under a post-hypnosis role-playing scenario. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm gonna play you a looped recording of the catastrophe in Tokyo. And then, with a little chemical assistance, your uninhibited neurons are going to work their crazy magic. I won't lie to you. This is going to be an intense out-of-body experience. Wow. I'm pretty excited myself. And subject has left the building. It's all shut down. Kaiden Cho, everything. From the park to, to Arachi Tower. SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragons thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. They're saying a bomb was never just a bomb. Something worse. Something that brought the filth with it. So we fight. That's what us Templars do. I enjoy a good fight. It's just these trousers are bloody velvet. Sarah! Thank Gaia! Okay, to catch us up to speed, this is a mental recording of what happened at the incident in Tokyo, the ground zero of where the ancient ones, the dreamers as they're called in this game, broke through reality and began their conquest of our world. Now, these three individuals are representatives of each faction. There's Mei Ling, who's from the Dragon, Rose, who's from the Templars, and I forget this guy's name. We'll come, sure, we'll find it eventually. But, in any case, we are currently occupying the memories of Sarah, right now in a frozen piece of time, until we initiate the quest. So, let's see what happened. Or rather, this is essentially T plus one minute. Let's see how it, the fallout occurs. Round zero. Through this must be a dream, you find yourself experiencing the aftermath of the Tokyo subway attack. Through another's eyes, follow the lead of the other secret world agents and work your way down to the station, down to the heart of this darkness. It looks like the situation is worsening. You should ready yourself. Except. This is Sarah's equipment. There we go. This is our elemental abilities, which will be fun to try. And no, we're not doing that. I already know how to do this and you'll, it'll be figured. So shall we? Oh, for crying out loud. Give me a moment. I'm gonna cut ahead in this. Okay, sorry about that, but I had to equip my elementalism, and it should be... Okay, sorry about that, I had to equip the elementalism, wanted to get through the tutorial stuff as quickly as possible. So, let's open the gate. This gate, I assume? Never mind. But let me guess, we're not gonna be able to save them. Ooh. The non traditional zombie apocalypse. Not entirely sure God can help us. Okay, everybody's gone to combat. Oh, there we go. Ooh, setting things on fire, always fun. Obviously, that didn't work. All right, here we go. Combat's not exactly the most thrilling in this game, but gets the job done. Primary strength of this is the story. Ew. Oh, good grief. Yeah, 
the reality infection. I guess I'm going first, but yeah, as you can see, reality is being devoured. I seem to be getting trashed here. Yes, I'm only level two. As you can see, the filth is trying to infect me here. I don't think it's a good plan. The heck? Oh, I'm overheated. Well, fortunately, the others are doing most of the fighting here. Uh, Elem there we go. Ooh, I'm definitely. Here we go. Yes, as you can tell, these used to be human, and they've been infected with what's called the filth. Essentially, a virus created by the old ones to convert everything from this world to their world. Starting with the subway and moving out, the rest... Ew. Okay, regroup. Sorry. Oh, that red aura is um, one of the characters healing me, the guy whose name I never remember. Yeah, I'm not doing well here. I've been filthed all over. Uh, hang on, skip to the passive skills. Are you eating an apple? Right, so we've increased the damage to our blade. Listen, Sarah. You have to find Zuberi. We'll hold him here. Make a stand. Somehow I think this is you're sacrificing me. But yeah, this is getting worse as we get closer to the actual point of invasion. Now, let's see. I saw it over here. This should be... Yes, I don't want to lose this lore, and you're not letting me through, damn it. Sorry, railroading. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Burn! Oh, getting out of there! Ooh. Oh, we won, I think. Ow. And occasionally there's loot. Eh, put that on. It's yet another. Talisman to keep us alive. 30 second cooldown heal. Heal device. I uh, see we'll be fine for that. As you can see, it was added to our controls down there. Not entirely sure how we're keeping talismans we get in dreams, but reality is already starting to crumble, so I'm not arguing about it. Yes, buzzing. Downloading. Ah, yes, the filth. That's defining what the virus is. Our wisdom flows so we taste and see. Transmit. Inifiad Cephalod signal. Receive. Infiltrate. Cut a link frequency. Handle with care. Initiate Chernobyl syntax. Avoid contact with skin. Initiate the eel mucus lexicon. Harm or fatal swallowed. Flip the ace of ruin. Witness the filth. I think it's trying to tell us not to touch it. Hmm. Oh, hi. Wait, where did you come from? The cavalry has arrived. The cavalry is a scared guy with a sword. power Take it into yourself. Breathe it out. Will this broken body mend it? Now, I'm thinking that healing is actually one of Sarah's abilities, because I don't have it. Just that device. Gaia will be tested by what is to come. Making a stand? Wasn't 
been working out. Yeah, about that. This ain't looking much better, to be honest. Oh, we're trapped in a box. I'm guessing this is the guy in charge and the Orochi security guy. He fits into the story later. At least the Orochi does. The moment we're not dealing with it. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, you're killing them faster than I can help here. Ah! Can't see anything. Just keep shooting. Oh. Getting this on my clothing. Oi. Hey, you. Hyperparasitoid infected. Not looking good here. I'm not a doctor, but I don't think that looks... You're doing well. Uh oh, that's never go. I don't know, but burn it. Ooh, that thing's fast. What are you faster than flame? Overheated. Damn it. Ah. No, 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 no. Is this like a pig that got mutated? All right, you. Guardian of Dreams? So yeah, don't forget the bad guy's name is, uh, Dreamers. Yeah, I'm not getting close to that thing. The gate's opening. Oh, glory. I can't wait to see what the next horror is. Oh, you guys stayed back on purpose, didn't you? You knew something was up. Ugh. Right then, let's let this let's let the second level guy take it all. It's all coming down. Anyways. And let's examine the actual breach. As you can tell, things are fucked. There is now a direct portal between the Old One's dimension and ours. Pineal gland. Overstimulated. Higher brain functions. Functioning. That is great work. Well above MK Ultra success rate. Hey, can I ask you, have you ever seen a Jaguar tripping? Zerg! Well, yes. Look it up sometime. Hey, you'd better haul ass to the test chamber. Jump through a few hoops. Oh, oh, and you may be feeling some discomfort from the microchip that I grafted to your spinal column. No worries, though. I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna fade, really. And as your doctor, I'd caution you, strongly caution you, don't try removing it, okay? Probably set up with explosives. Hello everyone, back again after that harrowing event. Now let's check in with the good doctor. Now you may have known that hit the voice there is Jeffrey Coombs. So if you ever wanted to know what happened to uh, Dr. Herbert West after the unfortunate zombie incident, well, apparently he was picked up by the Illuminati. Shall we? I went through a bunch of acronyms to get where I am today. NIMH, the CIA, the SAD. I was heading the MK Ultra Project during the 80s. 
This was after it had been publicly shit canned, obviously. <laughs> Mind control. Wow, that's a great, great feel. A lot of potential. Yes, MK Ultra is a real world thing, guys. CIA, yes, did spend millions of dollars over years to try to find out how to control people's minds, and I'm sure they're not using that technology today. This place is something else, man. Wow. You know, I haven't been outside the labyrinth since 2003. I really should check to see if I still have clearance. But I've been so tied up at the office, running the whole spectrum. New inductions, enhanced interrogations, exit interviews. Does exit interviews involve actually exiting or just disposing of the corpse? I don't really do much in the way of human interfacing. It's not really my department. I know this because they've been gradually raising the quarantine level of my lab to stop people getting in. You're probably not even allowed to be here, man. <laughs> but I won't tell. You're safe. <laughs> sure, I'm pretty sure we're not. We're under total observation. You got a lot of new, conflicting information about reality to take in, man. I'm almost jealous. Your mind will try to reject it for as long as it can hold out. Well, and that's just learned behavior. That's a passing thing, man. Don't worry about it. Yes, that's one of the things about Lovecraftian um, stories is that the more you learn, the crazier you get because you realize how little you understand of the horrible nature of reality. Something to look forward to. So since before science was science, man has explored many different paths to enabling the full human potential. Medical, natural, occult, yada, 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 yada. All of them operating within set boundaries. Or as I like to think of them, speed bumps on the highway to success. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that ethics is not big on this guy's agenda. <laughs> what can I say, man? Some advanced R&D groups get all the breaks. They're a private company, no audits or regulations to waste time on. They cherry-picked a think tank out of the best universities and government agencies and war crime tribunals in the world. Now, if you remember, there was an or Orochi group. So please wear protection. Sure. The Orochi group was present at the... Don't do anything I wouldn't do out there. ...at the Ground Zero incident. So we'll probably be seeing more of them. Right, sprinting. Get rid of that. Ooh, more information. Just absorbing those Lowe's nuggets. Okay. Global Ancient Mysteries. Buzzing? Yes. Transmit initiate anima signal. Receive. Initiate the Enochian frequency. Witness. Infiltrate the Merovogian syntax. So you've got a nice office. Pip Diazo. Crowding roots. Heavy with sippy sap. Stab your skull. Download. Holy communion. No purchase necessary. Your eyes and ears hemorrhage. Boiling joy. May it be so intense for some viewers. Ecstatic ecstasy. Your molecules come undone. Some assembly required. Offers expires the heat death of the universe. For a limited time only. Dark days cometh. Absolute zero. Maximum entry. Act now. Initiate Agartha broadcast. Transmit. Open the 49 gates. Witness the buzzing. Yes, we're part of the Gaian hive mind. Oh, that's a depressing conversation. You need to go through total awareness now. All right, sorry about that. Had to uh, take care of a couple things. Let's go. I don't think that's the elevator. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, this guy doesn't get much love because they stuck him back out here in the test chamber. Yep. Okay, as I mentioned in episode zero, several cutscenes were removed from the Secret of Legends after it became the Secret World, and this guy's cutscene is awesome. So I'm going to splice it back in, and like I said before, you'll see that my symbol off the left whenever I'm using old material, and I will suddenly transform into a redhead in a hoodie because I'm borrowing some footage. The uh, details are down below, but thanks to the individual for recording a lot of the beginning cutscenes. But let's talk. Let's this start it. Company line. You will use it to maintain contact in the field. Do you understand? That is all. 
and I'm splicing in now. They give me clay and expect me to hand them back steel. <laughs> it is not an instructor they want. It is an alchemist. You, my friend, are in a world of tigers, and they will eat you alive if you are weak, if you hesitate, if you do not strike first. Here, you will learn to strike first and strike hard. For those combat holograms, they can do nothing to you. I, however, have a high-powered rifle and a streak of what some call sadism. I call a will to incentivize. You have potential, but we have no time to tease it out of you. Inside you is a power, an anima, you can draw on to make yourself stronger, faster, a more effective killer. It is the magic behind the magic bullet. The weapons you use will become an extension of yourself. They are the instruments through which your anima is made force. I want you to arm yourself and show me that force. We have an arsenal here. You can experiment with all of them if you please. But when you leave, you can only take one with you. You have an edge, my friend. And I am not interested in how or why you came to possess it. Only that you sharpen it to the best of your abilities. Nothing less. In the test chamber, you can do so in safety. Safe. Except from me. Now, let us begin. And now the upgrading. Now, what happened is... In the original game, you had a crafting mechanism to create things. But, as you can tell, if you're using... But here, there's just kind of a scrapping mechanism. You take items that you uh, don't want to use. You as put them here under the uh, assembly devices, and you upgrade your weapon. Yeah, it's kind of idiot-proof, but... Uh, I was going to see about... Oh, you won't let me do it? Well, the problem being is that it's going to force me to use this focus in order to get the blade, and you tend to get a better sort of deal if you use foci and foci, weapons and weapons. But it's tutorial time. You're not allowed to make any decisions. And there we go. They're going to make us do the same thing to the foci. Now, one of the things he mentioned that's kind of important in that cutscene is that we are filled with anima, which essentially is magical energy. This means... There you go. This means that, unlike most magicians in this game, we don't have to learn magic. We don't have to learn how to tap into the anima that is within our bodies we actually just can do it. Now, most human magicians, the opposite. They took years to learn how to, uh, mind me here. They took years to learn how to tap an anima, but the B, that, oh, it's not that exciting. I just shot at some holograms. But since we don't have those those skills, we have no control, so we are forced to use our anima through these foci. Weapons with swords or the guns, if that's your choice. The And the foci they give us to just channel the power to make immediate effect. Essentially a shortcut, but considering the world is ending, there's not really much time to take years to be able to take care of this sort of thing. Now let's meet with our boss. You're gonna like her. I like her too. No nonsense, kind of lady. Atrocious taste in music. Yeah, occasionally you're going to see people here and there also playing the games. This is multiplayer. Projecting indecision is a big no-no. Always smile. But this isn't another test. We don't do probation. You're either in or you're out. 
The Illuminati are very achievement focused. It's like Xbox, only everything is hardcore. The ethic I really want to instill in you is to aim high and achieve even higher. It's not just in your best interest, it reflects on me too, and that is super important. Make me look bad, I'll mount your head on my wall as an object lesson to the next fuck up. God, it is so cute when you new guys think I'm kidding. Solomon Island. A little town and a preppy school with connections to us have kind of vanished off the coast of Maine. The people aren't a major deal. You know how many disappearances there are in the United States every year? We do. But our noses need to be totally clean on this one. The military are involved, and we have limited bandwidth to stall the shit heels at the DOD. Give an old dude a red button to press, it's like Viagra to them. I want you out on Solomon Island to assess the impact on our bottom line. You can skip the traffic and the quarantine by traveling through Agartha. Just use your initiative, but not too much initiative that comes across as desperate. Ciao, ciao. Ah, Kristen. So, yeah, let's get to know our boss better, who apparently likes to stand on her desk. I was an ordinary valley girl. Major in human resources, daddy in real estate who paved our driveways with his gold cards and shitty cologne. Rest in peace. Until one night in the hills, a couple of guys who were up to no good fucked with the wrong girl. Don't really know any more about that. Apparently this led to her being part of the Illuminati. I mostly deal with the new talent, but the Labyrinth is our organization's brain trust. We bring in key opinion formers from across the board. Government agencies, the Senate, law firms, financial markets, mass media. What you're going to find is that individually, they're compromised by being drama queens or cokeheads or psychos. But try to appreciate the big picture. Sounds like a standard corporation. Oh, I understand you tested positive for magic powers. I'm not so into that stuff. I'm more of a 44 caliber girl. Just ask my ex-husband. Unless they're cleaning out his respirator tubes. But good for you. You're really going to be drinking from the weirdness fire hose. Yeah, actually, majority of people in the Illuminati are going to be ordinary individuals, and we're the um, magical muscle, as it were. You had better not be having second thoughts. I am so not the raw raw girl. Or if you want an Illuminati history lesson, then you need to understand history is adjustable. It blurs big time. When we tell people what to think today, what actually happened back then is no big whoop. I think we're working for Cambridge Analytics. Some Illuminati become emotionally compromised just hearing the name. I'm beyond it now. We're perfect and haters will hate, but I should make it very clear that the Templars start this. The temp yeah, we have history with the Templars and the dragon. Oh, talk about a non-starter. I don't want you reading any sign of weakness into me saying we've given up on the dragon, but we have basically given up on the dragon. They're the one that got away from the think tank. Interesting if the dragon actually started in the Illuminati. Mission accomplished. But if you want to translate from Kristen to English, what essentially is going on is that Solomon Island in Maine seems to have disappeared, and it's an asset for the Illuminati. Excuse us. Yeah, these all other players are other operatives that have been powered by Gaia. She's uh, desperate, as it were. Though she's mass-empowering any individual that will survive the process. Speaking of Gaia... Q Curtain, the new world, a misstep in the dance, a sprang, the Illuminati limp west, on a new continent away from their enemies, the child of the eye and pyramid weave a new backdrop, infrastructure so lightly that none of the other factions are able to gain a foothold there since. Cue the psychic currency exchange, cue the viral pyramid, the one dollar bill is always watching. Yeah, the buzzing has a very weird view on reality. Probably exists inside time and space. You know, now, here's where things get even weirder. I do like that they have this snow soda machine. You can actually use the soda machine, it's hilarious. Yeah, see if you're thirsty. I'm traveling through the interdimensional. Hey, the buzzing. You've seen fragments of our grammar in the chaos patterns of bird flocks in flight, in hexagon angles, in graffiti bleeding together at the wall, in bioluminescent eyes under your bed. Oh, gods. 
and the fang city scale that forms runic rhyme and glimpse upside down the blur becomes syntax a forbidding scrawl emerges yeah if you can't tell the buzzing is kind of represented by the entire consciousness of the planet humans included now here's where things get even weirder oh yes you can the hollow earth agatha i do hope you're not here for the local service it's running somewhat tardy and by my watch it's 100 years overdue at quarter past the hour judging from the cut of you you're more of a world traveler well you've come to the right place now, this underground realm like the great british rail system is the very model of efficiency Agatha's thoroughfares sprout from the Tree of Life and connect back to the surface. Distance and time bend in here. Why, you can cross the globe in a brisk walk. Now, of course, it's perfectly safe. And no one's entirely sure how it works. Quite bedeviled the science boffins, but I'm assured they have their top men on it. Top men. Now, you'll need one of these. Mind your fingers. Thank you. Fascinating devices. Fortunately, there's still enough to hand out like sweets. Consider it your anchor to the hollow earth. It can return you here in a flash, proverbially and quite literally. Well then, onwards to the New England coast, what? Okay, a lot to unpack there. And the station master here, I like to say, is probably what happened to uh, Mr. Conductor. But, you know, it's a better afterlife than probably Mr. Carlin's expecting. Well, I suppose one day my services will no longer be required to man the platforms. Modernization encroaches on us all. Ticket machines, indeed. Good for addition, I don't doubt. Always with the correct change, yet somewhat lacking in the human touch. <laughs> like my thunderous mechanical companions here. Now, interesting thing about them is that uh, I don't think anybody added these. I think they're here and they're found. You'll get used to the balmy temperature. It's for the bees. They prefer it. Their honey is remarkable. Though the aftertaste, a little like machine oil. Her Majesty once commented favorably on Agatha to me. A work of quite miraculous craftsmanship. I believe to tour it was one of her few joys after Albert passed. So apparently the British have known about it for a while. Topside speaking, I admit to falling a touch behind the times. Out of date. Well, you understand though, a massive flora mechanical network won't run itself. One always finds something needing doing down here. Yeah, and if you don't get it, Albert is Prince, is, sorry, was uh, Queen Victoria's husband, which is he's been down here for at least a century. Now, one of the things to understand about this is that this is the world tree. This is the center of the metaphysical hollow earth. But what it really is, this is Gaia. This is the spiritual center of the world. This And the world we exist in is nothing but a projection from on of this world the skin the membrane of the spiritual center so this is the thing that's under attack by the filth and the dreamers and we are been chosen to be its defender okay buzzing again you've heard the shards of our voice in the phantom radio code of numbers station in the roar of crowds in the scream of your clock in the scrape of chalkboard in the snow static of television Chainsaw decibel mating cacatias, an urban mythos is by among children like contagion and silence between lies. White noise becomes a cadence, words develop self awareness, viral, evolving, living poetry, sentient language, yes, thought forms. And let's get started. To the coast!
Okay, there we go. Now, if I do recall, this will be the one we're looking for. Hmm. Things are chugging a bit. The server is probably a bit off. Hmm. Contamination detected. There we go. And. Nope, it's not there. Kingsmith. What the? Ugh. Oh, apologies. Apparently, I have to navigate inside the tree. I do hate it when they force us to take the guided tour. But yes. This is the center. The hallowed halls of it that have been given over to Gaia's Chosen, which apparently we've turned into a massive mall, us being humans. Die. Okay, now I can go out and do it. Uh, let's get that sprinting in case. Don't want to be here forever. Tally ho. There we go. Oop, give me a second. Okay. So we finally reached the cursed New England coast, and I'm going to call the first episode here. I'm sorry if there's a lot of uh, cutscenes and explanations and uh, dialogue, but trust me, the action will be hitting hard and heavy pretty soon. So I'll see you next episode next time. Ah, well, this is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country. You will see the dawning. To lose everything, or to become a god. To stand with us, or against us. The choice is yours.